You ever knew somebody that was not a gamer, but you wanted them to become a gamer and you couldn't think of a good way to be able to encourage them to do it. Well, someone figured out a way. What's up y'all, this is Shin. A career-based undergraduate actually developed something that's called ransomware. It's very similar to ransomware. If you don't know what that is, ransomware basically it forces someone to pay a fee to be able to utilize their files on the computer. If they don't pay the money and get a code or someone to unlock it, they're not gonna be able to get access to their files. This actually has happened in Texas quite a bit. And the funny thing to it is all the law enforcement so far who's actually got infected with ransomware has not paid in it. There is so much evidence that they don't even have access to. Now, what this guy did on his was he actually made it to where you had to play a game and to be able to unlock your files on your computer, you had to have a score of 200 million points. By the way, you had to put this on the hardest level there is in the game to be able to get that too. It's a over the head shooter style game. And I was thinking, that, thinking about how this could work for a lot of people. Lock someone out of their computer and the only way they were able to get to their files is say they had to play Tekken and then it had to beat over 100 people on survival. A lot of people can't do that. Say it was Call of Duty and the only way to be able to get access to your files on your computer, you had to get Dark Matter or Black Sky Camo and Master Prestige. You could force people to actually start gaming. That is actually lovely. But the guy actually, he made it as a joke and it just happened to spread. And when he was developing it, his own computer got infected with it. And he was asked, well, could you be able to get that score? He's like, no, nope, couldn't do it. I just think this is actually real funny. Well, to all the people who actually got infected, he went ahead and apologized and he actually sent them a way to be able to disable it so that they can go back and access their files. So all in all, everything is actually should be good for the most part. I hope no one had a paper to do or anything like that though. That's all I got for you today. This is Shin. I'm out.